Welcome. I'm Jessica Day. Over the years, I have worked in various early education settings throughout my career. Through my experience, I have seen firsthand the positive impact that active teaching can have on creating a stimulating and effective learning environment. I know that as a teacher assistant, you may have questions or concerns about how to shift from passive supervision to active teaching, and that is why I am excited to be teaching this course. In this course, we will explore the principles and practices of active teaching, including how to engage children in hands-on and interactive learning experiences, how to facilitate meaningful conversations and interactions, and how to support the children you are working with, as well as the classroom teachers, to enhance learning. We will also discuss strategies for overcoming common challenges and adapting active teaching strategies to the day-to-day -day routines and schedule in a childcare classroom. By the end of this course, you will have a deeper understanding of the benefits of active teaching and the skills and knowledge to incorporate active teaching strategies into your daily practice. I look forward to working with you on this exciting and important journey towards active teaching in the classroom. Prior to starting, I would like to review some details about this course. You have accessed this course through the Teacher's Lounge On Demand portal. This course is available in both video and podcast formats and includes a course book, a poster resource that offers examples of passive supervision, as well as examples of active teaching that you can begin to implement instead. Additionally, there is a quiz provided as part of the training, which your director will direct you to take. It is possible that your director may have requested you to complete this course, whether it be for a professional development day, mentoring, or an upcoming staff meeting. It is important that you adhere to the instructions given to you and inform your director once you have completed the course or if the quiz needs to be provided to them. By taking the initiative to attend this professional development course and then utilizing the information, you will not only enhance your own skills and abilities, but also contribute to a more positive and productive learning environment for your students. Putting the course material into action will enable you to better engage with your students, support their development, and achieve better outcomes. I encourage you to take notes, ask questions, and revisit the material as needed. Let's work together to create a nurturing and supportive learning environment for our students. Thank you for your commitment to your professional development and the future of our students. Welcome to our course on the difference between passive supervision and active teaching in early education classrooms. As educators of young children, we know that the early years are a critical time for development and growth. It is during this time that children build the foundation for their future learning and success. In this course, we will explore the importance of active teaching and learning in early education classrooms. We will examine the differences between passive supervision and active teaching and provide you with practical strategies and techniques to help you create a dynamic and stimulating learning environment for your students. Whether you are a new teacher or an experienced educator, this course will equip you with the tools and knowledge to create a positive and engaging classroom experience that will benefit your students for years to come. So let's dive in and discover how we can make a difference in the lives of our young learners. To start, let's explore what these two aspects of teaching really are. Passive supervision is a commonly seen, but not a beneficial approach in early education classrooms, where teachers may feel that simply monitoring children's activities is enough to ensure their safety and well being. While it is certainly important to keep children safe and ensure that they are following classroom rules, passive supervision alone can result in a missed opportunity for meaningful educational experiences. On the other hand, active teaching involves taking a more hands-on approach to teaching 
where the teacher actively engages with students to provide a rich and stimulating learning experience. This approach involves creating a classroom environment that promotes exploration, inquiry, and discovery, while also fostering social and emotional development. Passive supervision and active teaching represent two very different approaches to engaging with young children in an early education classroom. While passive supervision can lead to negative outcomes and hinder children's learning and development, active teaching can create a positive, supporting, and engaging learning environment. While passive supervision can lead to negative outcomes and hinder children's learning and development, active teaching can create a positive, supportive, and engaging learning environment that promotes children's growth and success. Examples of passive supervision are sitting in a corner of the classroom, scrolling through your phone without actively monitoring the children's activities, allowing children to engage in risky or potentially harmful behavior, such as climbing on furniture or playing with sharp objects, without actively intervening or redirecting them to a safer activity, sitting at the table coloring alone, sitting or standing, observing, and not engaging. Examples of active teaching and learning are hands-on activities like building blocks, making art, or playing with sand and water to help children learn by doing. Help children learn social skills by encouraging pretend play, like pretending to go grocery shopping or play doctor. Use stories and books to engage children in learning by reading aloud and asking questions. We're encouraging children to create their own stories to share with others. Encourage children to work together and learn from each other by setting up group projects or problem-solving activities. The differences between passive supervision and active teaching are critical to creating a safe, supportive, and engaging learning environment that promotes children's growth and development. Active teaching involves intentional engagement active interaction, and consistent intervention to support children's learning, while passive supervision can lead to negative outcomes and hinder children's learning and development. The role of a teacher assistant in active teaching is crucial in creating a positive and engaging classroom environment for young children. As a teacher assistant, you are an important member of the teaching team and your active participation in the classroom is critical for creating a stimulating and enriching learning experience for children. One of the most important aspects of the teacher assistant's role in active teaching in a child care center is being an active participant in the classroom. This means engaging with the children and the teacher and actively participating in the teaching and learning process. Here are some examples of how the teacher assistant can be an active participant. Ask open-ended questions. Encourage children to think critically and share their thoughts by asking open-ended questions that promote discussion and exploration. Examples of an open-ended question are, what do you think will happen if we mix these two colors together? What do you notice about the texture of this object? And how would you solve this problem? Encourage exploration. Provide children with materials and opportunities to explore and discover new ideas and concepts. For example, set up a science station where children can experiment with magnets or make slime. Provide hands-on activities. Engage children in hands-on activities like building blocks, playing with sand, or creating art projects to help them learn by doing. Observe the children's learning. Pay attention to children's interests and assist the teacher with documenting their learning progress through pictures, videos, or written observations. Support individual learning. Work with the teacher to provide individualized support for children who may need extra help or challenges. Model behavior. Demonstrate positive behaviors and social skills that children can emulate. Participate in group activities. Help facilitate group discussions or participate in group activities with the children 
to encourage collaboration and teamwork. For example, when children work together to build a tower of blocks, the teacher assistant can help by making sure each child has a turn to participate and contribute. The teacher assistant can ask questions that encourage the children to think about how they can work together. Participate in group activities. Help facilitate group discussions or participate in group activities with the children to encourage collaboration and teamwork. For example, when children work together to build a tower out of blocks, the teacher assistant can help by making sure each child has a turn to participate and contribute. The teacher assistant can ask questions that encourage the children to think about how they can work together to make the tower taller and stronger. Or during a dramatic play activity where children are pretending to be firefighters, the teacher assistant can participate in the play by taking on a role as a firefighter or a resident in need of assistance. The teacher assistant can model teamwork and problem-solving skills by working with the children to come up with a plan to put out a pretend fire or rescue a pretend pet. Another key aspect of the teacher assistant's role in active teaching is supporting the teacher in implementing active teaching strategies. Here are some examples of how the teacher assistant can support the teacher. Prepare materials. Gather and prepare materials and resources for hands-on activities or group discussions. Assist with activities. Help facilitate hand-on activities, group discussions, or experiments. Help children navigate activities. Provide guidance and support to children as they navigate activities, experiments, or investigations. Monitor behavior. Keep an eye on children's behavior and intervene if necessary to ensure a safe and positive learning environment. Provide feedback. Provide feedback to the teacher on what is working well and what may need improvement in the classroom. Reflect on teaching practices. Reflect on the teaching practices and strategies used in the classroom and collaborate with the teacher to improve them. Finally, Teacher assistants play an important role in creating a positive and engaging classroom environment. Here are some examples of how the teacher assistant can create a positive classroom environment. Set up the classroom. Help set up the classroom with comfortable and inviting furniture, age-appropriate materials, and appropriate safety measures. Maintain routines. Learn the classroom schedule and collaborate with the other classroom teachers to maintain established routines and procedures that support active teaching and promote positive behavior. Encourage positive interactions. Encourage positive interaction. Encourage positive interactions between children and provide opportunities for children to practice social skills like sharing and taking turns. Provide positive reinforcement. Provide positive reinforcement and recognition for good behavior, effort, and achievements. Foster a sense of community. Encourage children to work together, participate in group activities, and support each other. By implementing active teaching strategies, supporting the teacher, and creating a positive classroom environment, teacher assistants can play a crucial role in helping children learn and grow in a fun and engaging way. Active teaching encourages children to participate and engage in the learning process. This approach is particularly important for young children who are still developing their cognitive, social, and emotional skills. Here are some examples of what children do in the classroom during active teaching. Engage in hands-on activities. Ask questions and explore their interests. Take on different roles in dramatic play. Participate in group discussions. Learn about nature and the world around them. Work together and learn from each other. Engage in storytelling and imaginative play. As a teacher assistant, there are several responsibilities you have regarding the children. Here are some examples of what the teacher assistant is responsible for. Supporting individual learning. As a teacher assistant, you support individual learning by working with the teacher to provide extra help or challenges for children who need it. Providing guidance and support. 
You provide guidance and support to children as they navigate activities, experiments, or investigations. Keeping children safe. You keep an eye on children's behavior and intervene if necessary to ensure a safe and positive learning environment. Documenting learning progress. You observe and document children's learning progress through pictures, videos, or written observations. Facilitating activities. You help facilitate hands-on activities, group discussions, or experiments, and monitor behavior to ensure a positive learning experience for all children. Encouraging positive interactions. You encourage positive interactions between children and provide opportunities for children to practice social skills like sharing and taking turns. By taking on these responsibilities and supporting active teaching strategies, teacher assistants can play a critical role in helping children learn and grow in a fun, engaging, and interactive way. While I was consulting with a local childcare program, we experienced a situation that really showed us the differences in these two techniques. Thankfully, the classroom's lead teacher noticed the new assistant's passive supervision and addressed it in a constructive and proactive manner. Let me tell you all about it. Kara had been working in a preschool classroom at the childcare center for a few weeks now, but she still felt unsure of her role in the classroom. She often found herself sitting in the corner, scrolling through her phone, or sitting by herself at a table while the children were engaged in learning activities without actively monitoring the children's activities. The lead teacher, Kevin, noticed that Kara was struggling and decided to give her some guidance on active teaching. Kevin explained that one of the most important aspects of the teacher assistant's role in active teaching is being an active participant in the classroom. This means engaging with the children and the teacher and actively participating in the teaching and learning process. Kevin trained Kara on how to ask open-ended questions, encourage exploration, provide hands-on activities, observe the children's learning process, support individual learning, model positive behavior, and participate in group activities. He also showed her how to prepare materials, assist with activities, help children navigate activities, monitor behavior, provide feedback, and reflect on teaching practices. Kara was excited to put what she learned into practice. She began implementing active teaching strategies in the classroom, facilitating hands-on activities, encouraging student-led discussions, and monitoring the children's behavior and interactions. She also worked collaboratively with Kevin to plan and implement active teaching strategies and to create a positive and engaging classroom environment. The result of Kara's efforts were clear. The children were more engaged in their learning and seemed to enjoy the classroom activities more. They were more focused, participated more actively, and were more eager to learn. Kara was proud of the progress she had made and grateful for Kevin's guidance. She now felt more comfortable in her role as a teacher assistant and was excited to continue supporting the children's learning and growth in the classroom. Teacher assistants play a crucial role in helping children learn and grow in a fun and engaging way by implementing active teaching strategies, supporting the teacher, and creating a positive classroom environment. By taking on these responsibilities and supporting active teaching strategies, Teacher assistants can play a critical role in helping children learn and grow in a fun, engaging, and interactive way. Active teaching has numerous benefits for both students and educators. One of the primary benefits is improved student engagement. By promoting hands-on learning experiences, student-led discussions, and varied instructional strategies, Students are more likely to be interested in the subject matter and invested in their own learning. This can lead to better retention of information and improved academic performances on assessments. In addition to improved engagement, active teaching also promotes critical thinking skills in students. By encouraging students to ask questions, analyze information, and work collaboratively with their peers, 
they can develop stronger problem-solving skills that can be applied in other areas of their lives. Active teaching also contributes to the creation of a positive classroom culture that fosters a sense of community, respect, and inclusivity among all students. This can lead to better relationships between students and teachers in a more supportive and nurturing learning environment. Finally, active teaching strategies provide opportunities for professional growth and development for teacher and teacher assistants. By taking new instructional strategies, working collaboratively with colleagues, and regularly reflecting on their practice, educators can enhance their skills and become more effective in their roles. Following these tips for active teaching and learning can lead to improved student outcomes, a positive classroom culture, and professional development for educators. CARA benefited from implementing active teaching strategies in three main ways. First, she gained a better understanding of her role and became more confident in engaging with the children, increasing her job satisfaction. Second, the children became more engaged, focused, and enthusiastic about learning, improving classroom culture, and building positive relationships. Third, Kara could better supervise the children, ensuring their safety and well-being, building trust with both children and parents. Overall, active teaching and learning strategies improved the quality of education and care in the classroom, Kara's professional development, and job satisfaction. Overall, the key to effectively supporting active teaching in the classroom is to be present, engaged, and collaborative. As a teacher assistant, you have a unique role in promoting children's development and learning. And by working closely with the teacher, you can create a stimulating and enriching learning experience for children. As a teacher assistant, it's essential to be actively involved in the classroom. By participating in activities, implementing active teaching strategies, and creating a positive environment, you can help children develop their cognitive and social-emotional skills. Simply standing on the sidelines is not enough to support children's learning and growth. To help you know what steps to take to feel more confident and understand your role in the classroom when it comes to active teaching, we have created these next action steps that can take to help you know what steps you can take to feel more confident and understand your role in the classroom when it comes to active teaching. We have created these next action steps that you can take to support active teaching and learning in the classroom. Collaborate with the lead teacher to understand the classroom goals and objectives and work together to plan activities and projects that align with them. Promote hands-on learning experiences by providing children with materials and opportunities to explore and discover new ideas and concepts. Encourage student-led discussions by asking open-ended questions to promote critical thinking and collaboration. Create a positive classroom environment by fostering a sense of community, encouraging positive interactions between children, and providing positive reinforcement for good behavior and achievements. Observe and assist the lead teacher with documenting the children's learning progress through pictures, videos, or written observation, and provide feedback to the lead teacher. Continuously reflect on teaching practices and collaborate with the lead teacher to improve them. By taking these action steps, the teacher assistant can support active teaching and learning in the classroom, enhance student engagement and academic performance, and foster a positive and effective learning environment for young children. In Kara's case, implementing these steps helped her to gain a clearer understanding of her role as a teacher assistant, become more confident in her ability to engage with the children, and improved her job satisfaction. She saw an improvement in the children's engagement, focus, and enthusiasm for learning, which built positive relationships and created a positive classroom culture. Finally, Kara is better able to monitor and supervise the children's activities, ensuring their safety and well-being which helped to prevent conflicts, accidents, and injuries. Active teaching strategies can lead to improved student outcomes, positive classroom culture, and professional growth for educators. By taking the first step of collaborating with the lead teacher in the classroom, 
assistant teachers can ensure that their efforts are aligned with the overall vision for the classroom and provide the best possible education and care for young learners. Thank you for attending Active Teaching. Head to the Teacher's Lounge on-demand portal for more courses and resources to help you build classroom confidence. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. We have so many resources to help you in everything early education.